Yo, what's up guys? It's Humble Lord 469 and Happy Revenge of the Sixth? That might make more sense than Revenge of the Fifth, as a person said on Reddit. Anyways, welcome to a new Star Wars The Clone Wars video. Since Season 7 is done airing, I thought I may as well give my overall thoughts. This video will be like an episode review. I will say what I think, the pros and cons, and I will rate the episode. However, I am interested in using a 10 point scale for future episode reviews, so I thought I may as well introduce it here. It's self-explanatory, 10 being the best. You guys got it? Cool, let's get started. Also, spoilers, duh. The final Clone Wars season was definitely pretty dope. The animation felt a little weird to look at in the beginning since it was slightly different than seasons one through six and the Clone Wars movie, but eventually I got used to it. The season got a pretty good start with the Bad Batch arc. Sure, they may be the cliche group of misfits main characters run into, but it was a good adventure. Echo finding his place is a good message we can apply to our own daily lives. I have two criticisms for this arc though. On the Wings of Kyrodax, in my opinion, had a way too short of a runtime. Clone Wars is story based, so the episode should have run over 20 minutes. Also, there were a lot of filler storylines added, such as finding Echo's true loyalty, which I felt were not necessary with relevance to the plot. As for the Ahsoka's walkabout arc, which people are now calling the Martez Sisters arc, I felt bright for it at first. I was wondering if the final episode of Season 7 would somehow involve the Bad Batch and the Martez sisters. Like, I once theorized Ahsoka would return to the Martez sisters at the end of Season 7. But obviously, that did not happen. Ahsoka hiding her force powers, the sisters being blind, Trey stumping the spice. I have to agree with everyone now. This arc was a waste of time. If you were still going to get it, it should have been shorter, like two episodes. But the Martez sisters did not do anything for Ahsoka just motivate her to help Bo-Katan in the last episode of the arc. Hopefully the producers take this into account for future Star Wars series, but I now much rather would have preferred the Crystal Crisis on Nudipal or Boba Fett and Cad Bane arc in place of this one. Finally, the Siege of Mandalore. The main reason we were all here for this season. Boy, did Dave Filoni deliver. The arc was great from start to finish. From the Anakin Ahsoka reunion, Ahsoka and Maul's duel, Order 66, all the way to the Vader scene at the end of the arc. The arc really does feel like a movie. I will rewatch them together someday. Yes, it was a tragedy, but it impacted the series tremendously. Evil One and the 332nd Company died imprisoned in their bodies by inhibitor chips, forcing them to be servants of evil. This perspective of Order 66 added a lot of tragedy, not just to the series, but the prequel era itself. I liked all the references to Rebels in it, plus the transition into the Imperial era. Overall, if I had to rate the season, I would give it 8.5 out of 10. Yes, it was a good season. I praised the Bad Batch and Siege of Mandalore arcs. However, the Martez sisters arc was a waste of time and just took up space in the middle of the season, so it prevents the season from being perfect. That's pretty much all I have to say. I'm sad this was the last Clone Wars season, but it's good to at least appreciate what we got. Stay tuned for more Clone Wars videos that we'll release throughout the week. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!